What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the red color playing as Zeus. His name is Ulysses. His opponent today in the blue color doing something very spicy. His name is Tunison. He's playing as Loki and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, you have to ask yourself, why are we playing Loki on this map? I don't know. Loki here, not a bad choice in the slightest if you have a good opener here with Norse. You need to be able to get yourself at least three docks up in the Archaic Age. You need to be able to get yourself at least 15 fishing ship, if not 18 fishing ship here with Norse to have a chance in this matchup. But if you do, man, you can do some really fun things here with Loki. Loki's got a hell of a strong... Heroic Age timing through Njord here, getting access to the, uh, getting access to the to the Kraken to defend against everything on the water, while also putting a lot of pressure on land with like a whole bunch of Herser and and things like that. He could also decide to go through Bragi there if he's got his Herser out, and like say Ulysses tries to go for like an Athena rush here. You can definitely defend that with some with some Herser and some throwing axemen and some towers and some things like that. So he's also got a back gold mine here, so he's got to be happy about that one. And we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen here. Now, one thing that I don't like from Tunison already in this game is he's already on the berries he's already on the berries here with norse now why is this this is bad or not efficient for a few reasons so one is he has to build an extra ox cart to do this while he's already got cows here and two he's not putting the effort into getting extra dwarves out dwarves on water maps as norse are so important they're so they're, they're they're so vitally important so far in so far as because you've got fishing ships because you've got a boosted amount of food you kind of can take the hit to some inefficiencies from having dwarves on wood because you know that you're going to need that extra gold later anyways so putting dwarves onto wood early even as odin or loki is a completely justifiable decision to make as Norse on a water map like Anatolia, like uh, Midgard, like Calm Shores, like some of those uh, some of those kind of high fish uh, mega competitive mega random maps. Totally fine. Uh, but basically, the point is, you basically want to have around about seven dwarves by the time, or six dwarves by the time you hit the classical age here as Loki, so that you can build dwarves in the classic ledge or put villages over onto gold gatherers onto gold in the classic ledge and you can make yourself a decent heroic age or a decent ability to spam herser so those are the important things as norse on this map now we'll see what ulysses is doing it looks like very standard ulysses shenanigans uh i do not understand the second storehouse early here for ulysses this is only spending wood where you should have otherwise been building fishing ships Someone explain this one to me. The inefficiency factor of the villagers coming onto this wood line over here. I don't think it is 50 wood for a very, very long time. Uh, I'm just I'm just a big fan of complaining about people's water build orders here because I think a lot of players here haven't really put the time into making a super hyper-efficient water build, whereas they have put the time into super hyper-efficient land builds. And you only need one. You only need one efficient water build to have success. Whereas Tunis in here, he's already got himself two docks. He's gone for a third dock over here. He's very, very short on food at this moment here as well. Uh, and we'll see how things are going because Tunis in right now, he's going up through four said He's got himself one dock up only here. And only what looks to be 11 fishing ships. That's the dock coming up on this position now for Tunis in. I don't like it, Steve. I don't know why. We'll have to see how things are going to go. You can all... The other thing is, like, if you're... I mean, obviously, Loki doesn't have any forest fire. We do have a comment from DOD's Snick in the chat. Maybe he thought that he was up against Forseti because he's Norse. Loki doesn't have Forseti, but... No, Freya. Excuse me, Freya. 
Well, he doesn't have Freya, but even if that's the case, it would be better to put the storehouse up at four minutes and 15 seconds and maybe move these villages over to this wood line than it would be to do anything, to do, to do it otherwise. Anyways, gold villagers coming in, Athena coming through, a little bit late, no problems. Third dock coming up here for Tunison. 12 fishing ships at the moment here uh, as Ulysses is on 16, it seems, as it's not the best of Midgard spawns here. This is kind of like one of those 15 fishing ship spawns where you get one, two, three, four, five locations to grab and enjoy. Uh, so five times three is only 15. So that's totally fine. But you have to kind of be aware that that's the case. Uh, as per scene coming through for Tunison, he's going to be throwing his longhouse down, making her sir out. Looks like he's making dwarves out of his uh, hometown center as well. So it looks like he's going for a little bit of early aggression with the Herser to get a little bit of an advantage on the land while he tries to defend the water to some degree. You can see he's got himself five villages on wood over there, nine villages over there. So he's got all of his gatherers on, on wood at the moment. His hunting dog's also going to be coming through here for Tunison as he's deciding to pull villages off of the off of the wood completely here. He's got any... Does he have himself... Hall of Fans here? Is that why he pulled it off? No, he doesn't have the... No, just nothing. Gonna have to retreat away as Jason's out. Do you see the spy down onto Jason here? Do we see some Trireme coming out? Yes, we do. They're going to start putting some big pressure onto Tunison here at the moment as well. There's Tunison here. He's throwing up another longhouse. I'm not sure I like this without having access to Hall of Fans because he doesn't have the wood income to really grab it. It's going to be... A very, very easy defense here from Ulysses, while he's also going to be able to put pressure onto uh, Tunison's fishing economy very, very soon. As you do see the military academy coming through for Ulysses, he's ready to start pumping some uh, some hoplites out. He could also try and get to the heroic age here to get himself access to the Hapaspis, which could be a really nice idea as well. As the troll coming through, going to be looking to get some sort of damage somewhere. More Herser coming out here for Tunison at this position here. Still no Hall of Thanes. He does get himself the Relic here, which is Kopesh of Horus to help him against those pesky myth units. Getting bonus damage for his uh, Herser against the Minotaur and everything else. As now Tunison comes in. Thinking about it, if Tunison cut production here of those Herser, in fact, didn't build this longhouse, build an armory here and went Heroic Age, with these units to boot, this would be really scary for Ulysses to hold. Because one, he would get the Kraken to, to defend against the handful of Trireme that come out for free. So he wouldn't have to worry about his fishing economy. So he'd be able to keep fishing. Two, he'd be able to have himself like the extra wood to get himself potentially like Hall of Fans or something while he's advancing. But two, he'd be able to also get, three, he'd be able to get himself the Walking Woods to put even more pressure onto his opponent. As we do see this military academy, looks like it will be falling here. As Tunison manages to keep one of his Hursa alive as it's retreating back. Tunison will be going Heroic Age here very, very shortly. Does he have an armory down just yet? Looks like he doesn't quite have the resources to get that armory up. Is the fishing ship going to be pulling back into their docks over here? More pressure coming in as the Ainiar getting that horn blown, trying to take out the Odysseus on this position. Going to be doing that very, very fast as the Minotaur comes in and bashes the Ainiar away. And we will be seeing Ulysses retreating into his base as he has been pushed off of the gold mine for the time being. But here's the thing. Dionysus coming through means basically, you, uh, basically Ulysses shouldn't have anything to worry about. He's going to have access to the past, but he's going to be completely fine. Tunison, on the other hand, needs to start thinking about getting himself raiding cavalry here. And he needs to start thinking about raiding cavalry like yesterday as the uh, longhouses, longhouses, longboats, Trying to defend over here underneath the dock fire. He's got to be very, very careful with that. Does pick off a couple of villages. This is a very, very big help for uh, Tunison here in this game because Tunison hasn't lost any villages yet. His economy is very, very strong and he still cannot quite afford his Hall of Thanes upgrade here in this game. As now he's going up through Bragi, so he's not actually decided to get himself that upgrade uh, through Njord here, which I thought he would have gone for. Njord here is so, so very, very strong. As we see a, a troll spawn on the front there. A pacifist and hoplite coming through. More houses coming up for Ulysses. He's just trying to put pressure and defend as Tunison needs to continue to garrison these fishing ships in. 
as we see and the armory here getting taken out relatively nicely but a Hursa will get taken out there as Hall of Thanes coming through the big question is can Ulysses get out enough units here to defend That's the Hursa pushing through. One Hursa falling there. The Toxodes doing some good damage on the back. But Turnus, and now he sees those Surpassmus. Do we see immediately some raiding cavalry? Still no raiding cavalry. There's a world here where Turnison can go Mythic Age here, and he might actually have a better shot of winning than staying in the Heroic Age. We see another Longhouse on the front here. Uh, idea being he can get himself out a ton of Fire Giants, and the, uh, the Nidhogg can get a Gold Star for him, happening without even needing to be on the Gold Mine. So do you see the... Heroic Age for Tunison has hit. The Hall of Thanes has hit as well. As the Hursa come in to surround this army, Ulysses is going to be retreating back. Another troll coming in for uh, Tunison as well. As the Skylar is in to start getting some big damage done onto these fishing ships with no Kraken here to help out. It's going to be a tough time to defend there. There's the Flaming Weapons. There's Bronze and... You, our restoration gets thrown down there. Bolt onto the Battle Ball there immediately as well. As here's the thing... Turnison here, he's got plenty of Hursa. He's going to get a lot of myth unit spawns, but the Hapaspis are doing so much damage on this front. tunison has got no resources in the bank at this moment. Ulysses has got plenty of resources in the bank as the Heracles trying to take out that mountain giant over there. He realizes he does not need to do that, and Turnison just gets pushed back. Ulysses is completely fine here to continue along. Is the Skylar going to be searching around here, trying to get more damage done? But I mean, Ulysses has got so many resources. This gold mine has got 240 gold left in it. The Sky, the uh, Hydra, excuse me, does manage to take down that mountain giant and a town center coming up for Ulysses. Ulysses is in a very big, uh, very big advantage for the time being here. As the Skylar is going to be just running, roaming around looking for something. Other thing that Ulysses can do, he's got himself 57 favor in the bank as he can make some defensive Skylar against the longboat raids here as well very, very quickly. Plus with the town center coming up, it's going to be in a great position. We do see Salt Amphora coming through here for uh, for Tunison as the Skylar getting chased down. Tunison has to micro this, otherwise the Skylar will get even stronger here as he gets double heads. I think it's a 20... Wait, what is it? Two killing blows. So it's a... It, it, yeah. Basically a 50% chance to get yourself uh, an extra head every kill. As the villagers pulling back over here. Olympic Parentage coming through for Ulysses. As the Hydra comes through, that'll get taken out relatively quickly by the Hursa here. As the army of Ulysses has found some villagers in the corner. Ulysses decides not to target that one as the dwarves getting pulled off this gold mine. They can move up to the top gold mine over here or into the middle of the map as well. As the Valkyrie trying to take down units on the back. The Hurst are going to be retreating away for the time being as the villagers trying to hide in this corner as Ulysses checks the gold mine. But they missed the villagers there. The town center looks like it was probably going to be coming up here as villagers coming over onto this gold mine here as well. Tunison can start getting these raids onto Ulysses as Ulysses is very much not in position to defend here as the Skylar about to get another killing blow here. Gets himself three heads now doing 60 damage a shot. Okay, that basically three hits a fishing ship here, which is a huge deal. As the Hursa coming on to the villagers over here, going to continue to get that pressure on. Tunis is missing a house here at this point. Will he get a myth unit spawn or not on this position is the big question. Is more Hursa going to come down onto that location there? Is the villagers retreating here as well? Hursa trying to take out the villagers on this position, but the Toxodes are in plus the Hapaspist as well. And it looks like Tunis has misclicked here. Is the villagers going to be retreating off of that location? The Skylar still pushing around, looking for more fishing ships to kill. So he does find another one. That's the fishing ship killer. As Tunison has to retreat back, looks like Tunison is out of, uh, completely out of food income for the time being here. As his villagers are moving across the map, trying to find Hunt to grab the Hursa, still searching around, looking for something to take out. But Ulysses is in a very, very good position here. As he can just sit on his gold over here as much as he wants. I, I don't think, I think a good option here for Ulysses would be to just put a fortress down on this position here to defend and then you can put pressure on everywhere on the map doing this since now got himself a market here the village is still searching around for for something to grab as the dwarves coming back onto this gold mine for another time 
as Ulysses is persistently sending units onto this position. As the Hursa come through, the village is going to get pulled off immediately. Nice play from Ulysses. Good reaction times. It's 31 villages for Ulysses. As Tunis is still in the lead there. But a fishing ships have also been taken down as well as both players losing fishing ships in this game as they're not defending their fish well at all here. Too much chaos as more villagers getting taken out here. Tunison is having a field day with all of this, uh, all of these Hursa kills, but he's not able to utilize his villager advantage by having them on the gold actually mining here. Neither is Ulysses at this point. As all the gold mines have been pushed off as Tunison now trying to throw up some long houses on the back here to keep the pressure up while he's uh, now starting to lose houses on the front here. This Hydra with three heads and 20 hack damage. That's 60 hack damage a second. He now gets himself up to 80 hack damage a second here to take down the Longhouse. It's plus, plus the 10 crush. So he's actually looking at 40 crush plus 80, 120 damage a second here. Plus, I mean, minus the, the little bits of damage there. This Hydra here is getting max value with 6 HP remaining here. As the Hursa over here does end up getting taken down. The Longhouse is down. Ulysses grabbing himself gold for the time being here. As the Hursa push in onto this location. Where has Tunison sent his Dwarves at this point? The Dwarves look like they're moving forward onto this gold mine. There's already a Hoplite on that position there. As Tunison still can't come in and take this fight. There's actually no... Uh, not really that many Hapaspas here. Just the one Hapaspas. He can probably take this fight if he gets his houses back up to get the myth unit spawns. As an uh, ox cart getting taken down over here, we do see the docks have been cleaned up. This Skylar here able to take down the dock as well eventually. But Turnitzen, you, you can't just keep raiding, keep fighting. He needs to come back and collect himself and actually kill off Ulysses' army at some point here. Both players very, very much hurting in terms of the uh, economy, but Ulysses is all over Tunison at this point, as now Ulysses can also start rebuilding his fishing ships. No problems there. There's a couple more villages getting taken down. The dwarves are going to be getting pulled off that gold mine, searching for this gold mine on the front. Tunison also sees what's happening on this uh, on this food front here as well. As the, the villagers retreating away, we do see the battle balls popping out here. They're going to be able to deal with those Toxodes very, very easily here as the, the dwarves manage to find themselves a gold mine. How long can Tunison stay on this gold is the big question as the villagers coming over onto this gold yet again. And Ulysses is still in hot pursuit all over the place, but I mean... Basically, this game is all going to come down to can Tunison spend his gold that he's grabbing on Battle Balls in order to win these fights or not. Uh, he can also buy food here in this game. It's it's relatively cheap at the moment with uh, 129 food per 100 gold. So if he can get that going, he's going to be in a decent position. As the Hursa coming in, trying to take down some docks over here. This one Hapaspist is going to get sniped very fast. These villagers on this gold are going to get taken out very quickly as well. If we take a look at Ulysses' perspective here, actually, he cannot see that gold mine. It's obviously the only gold that... Uh, Tunison can grab here. Easy to see from our perspective. And Ulysses is checking everywhere. No, he's still not going to that gold mine. A battle ball spawn on this location is absolutely huge for Tunison as well. Still trying to make some units out on this position to deal with the uh, the hoplites and everything else. A good micro back here for Tunison to retreat away. Is the battle ball going to continue gets getting good damage done? As more units getting thrown in onto this position here. But it looks like... Ulysses, he's still in a good spot. I'd love to see another dock get placed down by Tunison at any point here. Uh, he's struggling for food as we do see that the units here run straight past the gold gatherers. Tunison going to be retreating away for the time being, though. It looks like Ulysses didn't actually notice it, but the battle wall gets taken out. Villagers coming back over onto this location. There is a troll already waiting there as the battle wall moving in. Can now start thinking about taking out the town center here because there's no heroes on this position here for Ulysses as the Hearse are continuing to chase the Toxodes away. Tunison's at 83 population to Ulysses' 130 population. As we do see the Toxodes turning around here, Tunison going to be simply just retreating back. Now Tunison on this gold mine on this position for the time being here. More battle ball coming out here as Mason's trying to come up, but it does look like Ulysses' town center is going to be getting taken out at this point as well. As the, uh, the town center is almost finished here. Will Mason's come through in time? It looks like it won't be coming through in time and Tunison gets a big win here as the villagers on this position here getting taken out yet again as while 
Ulysses is losing a lot of villages here. He's lost his town center, and this is a big deal for Ulysses here. Losing this is really allowing Tunison back into the game. But Tunison here has to be aware that fish can get rebuilt, and he needs to rebuild those fishing ships. He's got plenty of wood in the bank. You can get a lot of food income from it, and he's already got himself at least per scene here. So they're very valuable here in this game. As the town center getting shot up straight away, Battle Ball raids looking to hit this location over here again, yet again. Tunison not building anything just yet. We do see villagers coming over onto the walrus in the corner here as the dwarves coming back onto this gold mine for the nth time. As does the Hydra get taken down? Yes, it does finally here as the Hursa is still trying to deal with those medium hoplites in this location. The Hursa of Tunis is still chasing around the map trying to take villagers out, trying to push Ulysses out of this game but Ulysses here trying to get himself this town center up, this one battle board defending nicely. We do see still no raids over here an attempt at putting a military building down as the units pushing in to try and attack that location over on that position there. And you see Ulysses coming in with the villager to just have a building on everything and a third town center coming up as well. As the Odysseus cleans up this last battle ball over there, the Hursa have to get pushed back as more are getting taken out. And it looks like uh, it looks like Ulysses has got an eye for that ox card. If he takes the ox card out and he is utilizing the villager to do so, <laughs> the dwarves say, no, 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 not today. You cannot kill it off just yet. You're going to have to put more effort into this. As Oplite's chasing this one around, they do manage to get onto that ox card and will indeed be able to snipe that one out. Wait, no, 4 HP. I told a lie. It's still alive as Ulysses is trying desperately to chase that one down as he does manage to pick that off. The battle ball getting taken out here. An ox card on the way here for Tunison. As in that moment, Tunison sees three town centers and realizes the game must be over here. And if Tunison just rebuilt his docks here, Imagine if Turnison just rebuilt his docks and rebuilt the fishing ships that he lost. He probably would be in a completely fine position, if not equal position here, after all is said and done. Because Ulysses would not check this yet again. He wouldn't check it again. He's getting his fishing ships out. He wouldn't check. He might see a dock and send, send Skylar or something through to get more kills, but Tunis has got 600 wood in the bank. That's equal to a dock or two plus like 10 fishing ships, which would be huge here. But Tunison didn't go for it. He didn't put the effort into building the docks back. Didn't get his fishing ships back up like Ulysses did. And, I mean, if you take a look at the post game, this will tell a very, very big story. The resources, even though Ulysses is kind of in front here. I mean, he's not in front. Even if he's in front in the villages here, civilian unit count, he's in front from around the 14-minute mark only. Tunison was in front by, by the resources here. And if you get the fishing ships out, after you lost them, you just build the dock, you would be in, in front still, right? He would still be in front and he would be in a good position to win this game in all honesty. And Ulysses would be having a, having a battle here. Anyways, first win for Ulysses. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.